Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an update for my subscription box Blitz collab. This is going to be a bit pre-filmed because I'm just very very busy. So this is the only time I have where I can film for you guys. So I just wanted to do an update when I could. I have finished some products, some products I have made very good progress in, on and some of them I haven't even touched. And for those of you who haven't seen this kind of video before, this is a subscription box splits where we focus on products we have gotten in subscription box only. Me and Jamie, we started this in January where we added in 10 products and then the next month we would add in 10 more products even though we haven't finished the products beforehand. And then some other ladies joined us. I hope you will check the other ladies down below. I'm not going to add in more products just because I'm very, very busy with school and exams and stuff like that. So I just don't want to overwhelm myself with products that I need to remember to use and use up. I have a few empties this month and the first one is very, very exciting. This is my Gush Overnight Primer Oil Essence. I have used this for like half a year. <laughs> on and on and on every single night when I went to bed. <sighs> Goodness, I'm so excited that this is over. This was a very, very nice product. It was a nice oil on my face and my skin was very hydrated in the morning. I don't think it is a good primer just because I'm oily skinned, so I need a primer anyway. I know now that I don't prefer an oil as my moisturizer at night time, so. I'm very very happy this is done and I will not buy that <laughs> at all. I have a few samples because last time I added in some samples and I knew that was the easy way around to add in more stuff in this project but yeah. Yesterday morning I believe I finished my moisturizer from Seba Med and it is a mattifying lotion for your face basically. I don't know what the name is but um, it's problem skin I believe it is called. I really like this. It sunk into my skin very very fast which I really really like so I actually like this a lot. This is a small sample with 10 milliliters in and it actually lasted a very long time so I will look into this because this is actually very very nice. And that might uh, be a reason to start moisturizing in the morning. <laughs> So and then I have a few samples. I finished my Maybelline New Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I didn't like this product at all. It didn't do anything. I have two samples of the the rituals, the ritual of Sakura Magic Touch Body Cream. I have two of those. I love this stuff so much. So I will definitely get the full size of this at some point when I go through my body lotions. I finished my Sephora Super Supreme Body Butter in Sheer Butter. This was very, very awesome as well. I finished my Lancome The Smoothening and Glow Boosting Liquid Care over two rounds, two evenings. Um, I didn't see a point in using that one. I finished a L'Oreal True Match Foundation in 2C Rose Vanilla. This was a bit too dark for me, but I liked it a lot. I have gone through a whole tube of that before, so just the color that wasn't matching. That is everything that I finished. So for the samples I added in last month, I have three left. I have a Dior, Dior Door, Enjoy Eau de Toilette perfume sample. I don't know how much there is in this, but I have used it a few times. I'm not very good at going through perfume. I have a Lancome Tint Adore Ultra 24 hour foundation sample in Beige Daphne, Daphne, I don't know, but yeah, this will probably be too dark for me so I need to use this fast. And I have a Bruno Banani Not For Everybody Dangerous Woman Eau Toilette Perfume Sample. I have not opened this because I'm quite scared of this type of sample, I don't know, but I'm, I'm quite scared. That is everything for the samples that I have added in last month. Let's go through the stuff I haven't used this past month. I have not used my Gush Intense Lip Color in this purple shade. So I'm halfway through it and I will probably not use this um, anymore this year. But yeah, I have used it a ton and I'm so proud of myself because it, this is a more pigmented lip gloss and it's very, very bright. So 
Yeah, and I haven't used my self tan at all. This is from Vita Laborata Luxury Tan Self Tanning Tinted Lotion. I even bought a an a mid for it, but I haven't used it because it. I don't know. I I just don't like self tanning. I just don't. Then I have used this uh, a small bit. It is my Nutrilux bronzer that I use as a contour. I have used it today, but I have used it some, not a lot, but you can't see a difference anyway, so that's that. I have used this once and it is the Caramel Dew Wild Body Oil O3 Energize Therapeutic Lemongrass Eucalyptus Orange Pe Peculi I don't know It is an oil, I use this for, for a massage and I only got one this month so I, I'm pretty sure I can finish this, I just I need just I just need to use it. I started to use this again because I finished off my primer oil from Gosh, and it is the Olas Beauty Fluid Day Normal Dry Combo Moisturizer. And in like a week or so I used up this much, so hopefully because I only use this now, maybe day and night, I can get through this and I would be so excited because I need to go through my moisturizers. I have a lot, but I really really love this stuff so much, so... I'm very excited to be using this again. I have my Tease Cosmetics powder in Feather Light, I believe. I have so little left. It is so awesome. I would definitely be done with this next time you see it and I can't wait. I'm so excited to be working on my other powders soon. I really, really love this stuff, but it takes me forever to go through one. I have used this since like spring or something. It's still here. And I go through powders rather quickly, but this stuff, dang. Then let's take this highlighter and bronzer duo from um, Manicada. I have this in my rolling pan as well, so you might have seen it a few weeks ago. But I have a dip in the highlighting shade. I have used this for a highlighter, of course. As an eyeshadow, I have not used the bronzer at all. So maybe I will work on this next year as well. Maybe, maybe I will take a break. I don't know. but. Hopefully I can hit pan by the next update or the finale and I will be so happy, so happy. I use it every single day and can't wait, can't wait to hit pan on that one. Then I have some new lines on my nail polishes. I have a new line on my Catrice Cosmetics Ultimate Nail Lacquer in the very, very best 108. And it is just a small line, but that is only one manicure I have on my nails today. Uh, hopefully I can use a bit more of that one. Then I have used this quite a bit and I'm very excited about my progress. Okay, my camera cut me off, but I'm pretty sure I just showed you that I, had, I was up here last time and then I was down to here. So I have used it quite a bit this month and I'm pretty excited that it is moving and I'm, I'm pretty sure I can't finish this or the other nail polish here by the end of the year but I will be very excited to have some of it gone. But I can uh, tell you now I have a plan on doing a project polish next year so this will most likely be featured in that one. Um, but I will try to work on some of my other polishes as well because I have a dream that I don't own any nail polish because I just don't have any good nails for nail polish so yeah. I don't enjoy that much to do my nails so yeah I love looking at 
good nails, but I'm just not in the mood to like do them, you know? And then I want to show you my wheel. I This is the red one that I have on my nails today under a glitter nail polish. And then this is the blue one. Oh, and the this one is my Nails Ink na Nail Kale in Richmond Park Gardens. And this is beautiful. So yeah, this is this one here. And for my project palettes, I have like ordered a few of these so I can do that and a nail polish collection. So I'm very excited about that. Then we have one item left. It is the Mimi Me Lip Glide Velvet Finish Lip Color in Playful Peach. This is so small. I'm so excited. And I have finished a bit of that one. I will show you a close up of course, but I have not made as much progress as I did last month. So I really hope I can make an effort to use this a bit more. If it's not finished this year or in the next month or two, then I will, you know, finish it up next year or something. So I'm not very worried about this. I have used up so many items, like over 50 items in this project. And I'm very, very happy about that. So I'm pretty excited about next year and see how I'm going to do. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and check out the other ladies down below. They're lovely and they are doing so many pretty pants and so much fun stuff. So please check them out and I will see you guys next time. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to follow up on this project in a month. And yeah, see you in the next video.